students, good morning. It's time for cookery class. It is where food is life and cooking is magical. First, I want to welcome you all to school year 2021-2022. This is Miss G, your cookery teacher. As a starter, let me know, what do you usually prepare for breakfast? Well, at this point, let us talk about one of the nature's complete food. Are you ready? Our most essential learning competencies today are the following. First is to identify an egg's components and its nutritive value, followed by to identify and prepare ingredients according to standard recipes. With that, let's dig deeper and find out the importance of gaining knowledge and understanding while developing your skills in the preparation, cooking, presentation, and storing of an egg. Let's have its meaning. Egg refers to poultry or fowl products, which means they come from either chicken, ducks, or bird. The versatility of eggs is evident in its presence in the numerous food items. And normally, we distinguish three parts of an egg, right? The egg yolk, the eggshell, and the egg white. But a closer scrutiny reveals a much more detailed structure of an egg. Let us discuss them one by one. This picture shows the physical structure and composition of egg. The first part of the egg is the shell. It is the egg outer covering and the shell accounts for about 9 to 12 percent of its total weight depending on the egg size. Remember students, it is not advisable to wash egg prior to storing. Why? It is because this will wash out the bloom or the cuticle which seals the pores and help reduce moisture losses. The bloom or the cuticle also is responsible in preventing bacterial penetration to the eggshell. So remember to wash egg only if you are about to cook it. Our next part is the albumin. It is also called as the egg white and accounts for most of an egg's liquid weight which is about 67%. Albumin consists of two layers, the thin albumin, which is the narrow fluid layer next to the shell, followed by the thick albumin, which is the dense, matted, and fibrous capsule, which is attached to the yolk. Our next part is called the air cell. It is the empty space between the white and the shell. It is found at the large end of the egg, which is barely exists in newly laid eggs. How does it happen? It is because when egg is first laid, it is warm. And as it cools, the content contracts and the inner shell membrane separates from the outer shell membrane. That way, air cell is formed. Next, we have calaza. This is the ropey strand of egg white at both sides of the egg, and it holds the egg yolk in place or in the center of the thick albumin. Remember that the more prominent the calaza, the fresher is the egg. Next, we have the germinal disc. It is the channel leading to the center of the yolk. When the egg is fertilized, sperm enter by way of the germinal disc, travel to the center, and a cheek embryo starts to form. But since table eggs are not fertilized, we cannot easily distinguish or recognize the germinal disc. Next, we have the Vitaline membrane. This is the covering that protects the yolk from breaking. Lastly, 
we have the egg yolk. The yolk or the yellow to yellow orange portion which makes up about 33% of the liquid weight of an egg. Now, you are aware that egg consists of more than three parts. Now let's move on to its nutritive value. The egg is indeed one of the nature's complete food. It contains high quality protein with all the essential amino acids, vitamins, except of course to vitamin C, and different minerals. Now your task is to complete the concept map. After knowing the nutritive value and composition of eggs, you can now create ideas and concepts to justify the completeness of egg as food. And for your performance, you have to prepare and cook breakfast using egg as your main ingredient. Remember that you have to document or narrate your activity. Let me end this discussion by leaving you these words. The quality of food depends on the skills of the one who cook it. So as a cookery student, let us always produce a quality food product. That would be all for today. Thank you and enjoy cooking!